Welcome to another lesson. We are going to, in this lesson, look at unit rates and equivalent rates. The first problem we'll start with is here on your screen. A stadium has 24 seats in three sections. This equals how many seats per section? So all this is is a division problem. Let's turn on our scratch pad. So if we have 24 seats and we divide those seats evenly into three sections, we get eight seats per section. So we can think about it like this. We'll draw a quick picture. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those eight dots represent one section of seats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Oh dear. My scratch pad went a little crazy. Well, there's seven dots and a squiggle. This the the second section of seats and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can envision these 24 seats in these three, one, two, three different sections made up of eight seats each. Let's go ahead and put that answer in. And it's correct. 48 crates of fruit on three pallets. So a pallet, if you don't know what that is, is a wooden, a flat wooden structure that can carry loads of things, boxes of things. In this case, um, boxes or crates of fruit. So 48 crates of fruit on three pallets. So again, let's picture this. So I'm going to make flat lines to be my, to represent my three pallets. So one, two, three. And I've got over here 48 crates of fruit. So there's a whole bunch of little crates here, all these little boxes that I'm drawing. And if I could, if I filled that in with 48, I'd have 48 total crates of fruit. And I want to put those 48 onto these three pallets. Well, again, all I'm going to do is take this 48 and divide it into three parts. So 48 divided by three, three goes into four once. and three goes into 18 six times. So this means that on each of these pallets, I'll have 16 crates here, 16 crates here, and 16 crates here. Thirty flowers in two vases is how many flowers per vase? Well this one is probably easier to envision than the other two. If I have 30 flowers, I'm simply going to divide them in half. You can probably do that mentally. Half of 30 is 15. So I will have 15 flowers in each of those two vases. 25 strawberries in five crates. How many strawberries per crate? So again, I'm going to make some, oops, let's turn on our scratch pad to do that. One, two, three, four, and five. So there are my five crates. Those little boxes represent crates. And I've got a bushel over here of 25 strawberries. And I want to take these and divide them into five parts. So I'll put five strawberries in this one, five, 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 and five, because 25 divided by five is five. So there are going to be 25 strawberries per crate. Twelve pizza slices in two boxes. How many pizza slices per box? Well, this one, again, is pretty simple, like our one with the flowers being divided into two vases. If I've got 12 total pizza slices, I'm going to put half of them in one box, half in the other. That would be six pizza slices per box. 36 flowers in two vases. 
All right, this one is similar to one that we saw before. If we divide 36 by 2, that comes out to 18. So we have 18 flowers per vase. 40 strawberries in two crates equals how many strawberries per crate? So again, we're just taking this um, basket of or container of 40 strawberries and dividing it up into two crates, meaning we divide 40 in half, and that is going to be 20, 20 per crate. 20 pizza slices in two boxes is how many pizza slices per box? Again, we're just dividing this between two boxes, which is pretty simple. We divide 20 in half, 10 slices per box. 42 bats in three caves is how many bats per cave? So 42 divided by three, that one might not be quite as easy to do mentally. So let's go ahead and set up a division problem. 42 divided by three, three goes into four one time. And 3 goes into 12 four times, and that'll go in evenly. So when we subtract, we have no remainder. So this is 14 bats per cave. And finally, 8 pallets in 2 trailers. So remember those pallets? I said those, those are those flat wooden structures that we can carry boxes or other crates on. So we've got eight pallets and we are going to put them into two separate trailers. So that again is four pallets per trailer. All right, we'll see you in the next lesson.